They've had their individual reviews. Now it's time for a bout. So who's going to win this rat race? This is known as the rat, and because this is copying the rat, and I don't want to have to keep saying G727MEDCG10, I'm going to call this, well, if this is a rat, and this is a ganzo, and its model number starts with G, I'm going to go ahead and call this a gerbil. So here we've got the rat one versus the gerbil. A couple things I need to get out of the way at the beginning. First, there is a potential third contender for this, which would be the Ontario Knife Company Rat Model 1 in OS 8 steel. However, I'm going to say OS 8 is comparable to 440B. So the 440C of the Ganzo is better because it's comparable to OS 10. Also, the OS 8 version of the Rat 1 is around $25 and the Ganzo is around $22. So with a higher cost and a worse steel, the OS8 version is going to lose to the Ganzo. But what about the D2 version of the Rat Model 1? First things first, the Ontario Knife Company Randall Adventure Training Model 1 is the originator of this design, which Ganzo is essentially copying. If that bothers you, then regardless of anything I say, this is the knife for you. It's the original, and if, if a copy leaves a bad taste in your mouth, don't even bother with Ganzo. You'll be upset with yourself for doing so. But if you're open to each and you just want to know, on merits alone, which knife is better, or which knife do I recommend, that's what this bout is for. First of all, while they do look very similar, there is a length advantage, a very, very slight length advantage for the Ganzo which comes from the end tip of the blades. Because of the way that this tip is more of a gradual curve at the very end, you get about three and a quarter inches of blade versus three and an eighth. But the difference is so minute, If whichever one you stack in front is going to look bigger just because of the optical illusion of it. But if you measure these out, slight length advantage for the gerbil. However, sharpening advantage goes to the rat because of this sharpening choil here. You can get a full sharpening easier on the rat one than you can with this little bite right there on the Ganzo, the gerbil. You also have a handle length advantage with the rat. If you set them side by side, you can kind of see that the rat has a slight length advantage. The rat one is about four and seven eighths in length, and this one is about four and three quarters. More contoured on the Ganzo, and also on build quality, the Ganzo is held together by the one, two, three, four, four T6 screws, plus the three T6 holding the clip, whereas the Rat 1 has three T6 screws holding a clip, but additionally has ten other screws, five on each side, holding this thing together. So this is definitely better built than the Ganzo. In terms of country of origin, you've got... Taiwan versus China. In terms of customizability, the Ganzo is available in black, OD green, orange, or digital camo scales. The Ontario Knife Company uh, in D2 is available in black, green, brown, or tan scales. Action. With some work, the gerbil as a decent action for the price point, but it doesn't have the same smoothness across deployment that the rat does. If you watch this, once I get going, it's a pretty smooth transition from close to open without really a stop on it. Because of the way that the spring is handled in the Scanzo axis lock, there's a stop right there, right as the spring disengages. You can even hear it. So there's like a stop point right here before you get into the smooth opening. 
In terms of closing, with lubrication, you can make this pretty much drop shut. This one, because it's a liner lock, it is a little bit harder to close. So more pleasant to open the rat, arguably more pleasant to close the Ganzo. So action's gonna be a wash. However, if you think this is Benchmade access lock level, you've not handled the true Benchmade. Uh, whereas, as far as liner lock thumb stud knives go, this is among the best you can get, and it's still around $45. Does that action provide extra smoothness in terms of a wrist flip? Well, you have two options with the Ganzo. You can, you can use the thumb studs, which as I said, have an engagement and is less smooth. Or you can use the, the, uh, the Gaxis lock, which doesn't want to lock open. With the rat, you only have the thumb studs. However, with a little bit of wrist, you can get this to flick open pretty reliably. And if it's well lubricated, you don't even necessarily need the wrist to get it to lock open. Just a good flick from your thumb. We already talked about ergonomics, but in terms of carryability, the Ganzo actually maybe wins a little bit. The handle is shorter, as I mentioned, and the weight makes a difference. The Rat 1 is, is heavier than the Gerbil. The Gerbil weighs 4.34. The Rat weighs 4.97, so closer to 5 ounces. Unless you're carrying both, you're not going to notice a lot of difference between them. But this one does weigh down in your pocket a little bit more. Clip-wise, pretty similar, honestly. The height above the clip is very similar. The rat, however, has more options. You can do tip-up on the left or right-hand side and tip-down on either side. And as mentioned before, it carries deeper when it's carried tip-down. Whereas with the Ganzo, you're stuck with tip up, although you can do left or right. So going into the ratings differences, the utility wins out on the rat because of the D2 steel is a step above Ganzo's 440C. But blade shape wise, they can do about the same thing. Although once again, the rat is slightly easier to sharpen. And even so, you're going to need to sharpen it less often than the 440C of the Ganzo. 440C has worse edge retention than D2, but you're paying a price for that in terms of rust prevention. You're going to have to apply rust preventative more often on D2 than you will on 440C. But still, slight advantage on utility to the rat. 5 versus 4. It's on awesomeness. Because this is a copied design, I'm going to ding it there. It's also, it feels cheaper made. Awesomeness takes a ding. The rat is pretty much the standard. This is average. This is below average. Cost, however, the Ganzo wins there. The Ganzo here is just over 20 bucks. MSRP is 2250. The MSRP on the rat is about 60 bucks, but you can usually get it between 45 down to maybe just under 40. You're talking about roughly twice the price to go from Ganzo's 440C to Ontario's D2. On ergonomics, the rat's going to win there. The jimping on the rat is more pronounced, and it's at a better angle. While I'm holding the rat, I don't feel like this is driving into my thumb in the same way that I do when I'm holding the gerbil. Right here at the top kind of pushes into my thumb while I'm holding this. Also, the clip is a slightly worse hotspot with the gerbil than with the rat. This is smoother, so it doesn't poke into your hand as badly. And the texturing is more subtle on the Ontario than on the Ganzo. This feels rougher than this, so you'll notice this more than this one. Even though this has a liner lock, which is potential for some sharp edges, where your finger is, that doesn't really happen with the Ontario Rat 1. And you can feel the interior liners on the gerbil a little bit more than you can the liners on the Rat. This transition is more seamless than this one. 
the thumb studs are also more ergonomic on the rat than on the Ganzo. There's a little bit more sharpness on this last concentric circle of the Ganzo or the gerbil thumb stud than there is on the rat, although it's a pretty subtle difference. Legality-wise, they're pretty much on par, although I will say because of the axis lock on this, this is more likely to get ruled a gravity knife by some cop somewhere because, oh, if you pinch this, it can fall open. So that may cost you in some very restrictive cities where the Rat Model 1 really doesn't have that issue. You can't get this to flick open. So what's the verdict? Well... The Ganzo G727M, or gerbil, only really wins on cost and weight. This knife here wins on utility, awesomeness, ergonomics, and legality. And it was the originator of the design, which it granted in fact's awesomeness, but this is just a better knife overall than this one. If these cost exactly the same, I would definitely say get the Ontario Knife Company Rat Model 1 in D2. And in fact, I do say that. Get the Ontario Knife Company Rat Model 1 in D2. Then the question becomes, should you also get the Ganzo? Well, if you like the shape of the rat, but you wish it were in 440C instead of D2 for some reason, or you wish it had a version of Benchmade's Axis Lock, then you should have the Ganzo. And I wouldn't not recommend the Ganzo necessarily. There's nothing wrong with it aside from the way that they have the design kind of ripped off, but it's not nearly as nice a knife as the Rat. I mean, this really is a standard among knives. I think everyone who's into knives should eventually try to own one of these. This is probably one of their Manzo's most popular designs because it so closely mimics this one. That's my final verdict. If for some reason you can't afford this, I'd still save up and try to get this. Unless some aspect that this one on in my video or someone else's points you to this over the rat. But I would say in the end, definitely get a rat. And if you like the design so much and you want just a slight different variation, go ahead and get the Ganzo as well. But if you're debating between the two of them, don't get the Ganzo, get the rat. Sorry, gerbil. That's all for today. Class dismissed.